Greetings everybody, it's Ryan Darkies43 and well it's that special time again, it's time for more news or just coverage. Now I have my best friend Will with here. Say hi say hi random person. Uh, uh, hello. Hello Ryan Science. I, I am Will. I have some, a Twitter call Some random Will. Yeah, I'm some random Will. That's yeah, also my some Twitter. random Will! I found in the street! <laughs> I guess the, I get the Ernest Street? Anyway, I all I have is a Twitter. Yeah, That's yeah, it. finally do Christian. But anyways, Toy Fair news! Yep, Toy Fair. Now, we were going to discuss Wonderfest, but we decided to scrap that, because... Mostly, that's uh, just like, oh, an anime figure. There's a Rika. There's another Rika. Here's another Rika. Oh, cool. oh look, a cool robot. Oh, no. But anyways, so... That's um, a, lot, uh, uh, so a lot of things that are great, that will... That may get this unmonetized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will give me kick off on YouTube. Um, but still, um, so today we're covering has um, Toy Fair stuff, but mostly for this part, part one, because it's Toy Fair. So there's a lot of news, and well, when you're Hasbro, you have like 700 billion licenses to cover. Well, you're Hasbro, you acknowledge your licenses on extra and other companies. Yeah, so, so we'll get to other companies, like, in part two. But the problem is, with Hasbro, we had three franchises they announced. Goddamn, three! Like, three sound, three franchises where they announced so many things for. Like, yeah, three massive, massive, massive franchises. Um, so which one should we cover first for Hasbro? Might as well go with the Marvel. Alright, I guess Marvel, the Marvel stuff, um... Well, yeah, so some Marvel get so we no no we're not gonna cover everything about Hasbro. We're only gonna co talk about like the interesting stuff. Um, we're not covering Star Wars most because this year oh. was eh. Yeah, like the biggest thing they they had to show off was that was that really cool like was that really uh, really cool um Darth Darth Vader figure. Outside of that, so I say here's here's a figure for this for this character in this one scene. Here's this. Here's a figure for this Here's one character. Here's a figure for Solo. Here's figures for Solo. You know. And in this one random character, the background in in in, the, in a trilogy. Yeah. So like nothing much. We're also not covering Overwatch. You know those are look great. We have. We both have no kind of connection. We, about we have no connection. Say. Also we also also we won't be talking about Fortnite either if we get to a uh, McFarland stuff. Even though. Even though those toys do look good. Uh, no, I actually found out recently. My father has the license for the six inch, like Fortnite figures. Jazz Wars has the license to like. Wait, Fortnite's, wait Fortnite's is licensors that were smart enough to 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 make individual licenses for each different scale. Really? Yeah, definitely. My father has the license for like the quote unquote collector stuff, like. Oh, like for new. No, for yeah. a new brand, that's actually good for like, for like. Yeah, like, and I think Jazz Wars, uh, Jazz Wars has the rights for, I think, like, I think they're like five inch figures, if I remember right. Um, let's see, yeah, we're just, you know, I checked Overwatch stuff and they look really nice. Um, if I got picked those up, it was mostly because I like those designs. But still, um, but let's get to how it's rules kind of me better for six inch figures and honestly the champion still for six inch figures. Because it's not like Mattel is doing anything with the six inch line. <laughs> or they are. I think good. We'll get to it. But for uh, for Marvel, um, what do you want to do? Cover Marvel Legends first, or cover Sp the Spider Man? Spider Man smaller. Spider Man, yeah. So so Spider Man, well, Spider Man Far From Home's coming yeah. out. So yeah, it's just a bunch of Spider Man stuff. Um, I, I got you not to try and say um, remolding is like older, older stuff. Surprisingly, somebody just only far from home stuff. From from what you see, no quote unquote evergreen figures, aka the the the, the toys for Marvel Sp the Marvel Spider Man cartoon. So like, well, okay, no, 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 there is, but it's the bad stuff <laughs> that no one cares about. Yeah, yeah and, and and figures that show did get are like are like in like um either. Uh, yeah, or, 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 or like in foreign markets. <laughs> foreign markets, those lucky bastards. Um, so the first thing for Spider-Man we're gonna take a look, a look at is many roleplay items, and well, it's it's, it's a good it's old. Mar it's roleplay. She don't look good. 
<laughs> yeah, like, seriously, like, for Has, for Has, bro, they're like the kings of, like, like, they have the nerf stuff, and when we get the power range and stuff, it's actually really good. But I don't know why, every time they do roleplay for Marvel, is kind of, unless it's, like, for the Marvel Legend collector stuff, like, this, these web shooters look kind of bad. And the mask? Yeah, they just don't look. I don't get what the- wait, I don't get this. So it's a plastic mask, but with a fabric bottom? I guess you can move it up for like, how Spider-Man did that for, for his kiss scenes? But this is homecoming Spider-Man, he never does that. He never does, he never does. Also, we he have the- Maybe he'll do a new movie. But now we have the first of, hopefully the many, has Rome Nerf Kid stock photos. <laughs> the stock footage kids. <laughs> Look at them. These are the best <laughs> parts. I, mean, I hate them because they're kids and they're having, they're having fun. <laughs> but you can't help but make fun of them. <laughs> they're kids having fun. <laughs> I know, but some of them... Oh, none of you, Oh, you want to see hilarious? Go look at, like, the Nerf Rival stuff. Nerf Rival is, like, Nerf for older fans. And they have adult Nerf, ki nerf Kid people. Or teenagers. <laughs> Teenage tattoo. So yeah, that's the first roleplay thing. Anyway, so yeah, this overall, I think it, the problem with these roleplay, for the special the mask, there's one thing I don't like about the MCU Spider-Man designs in terms of like the ma the merchandise, is they always heavily detail the lenses because the MCU. It was weird. Because they, they emphasize the shutter, like there's a shutter. But it always just looks weird. It looks like his fireman's old. He has old bags underneath his eyes. <laughs> uh, look, oh, you're right. It does look like an old man, fireman. It does look. It has like a very old man bag. Then again, then again, I, then again, outside of like how would, how would, how, how, I like the proportions. I never really liked the MCU fireman costumes. Well, really, they're like. People were like, excited about the, the eyes opening and having motion, which is great. But really, they just should have been like how Deadpool did, or just make the eyes CGI. Like, you don't really need to make their like lenses. Yeah, like you could just. I mean, I. I don't know. When it comes when it comes to MCU in general, the use of particle particle effects and non using particle effects has always been weird. Anyway, so that's the role. That's the first of the role play stuff. Um, next is we get some of the figurines. And, oh, wait, versus, alright, it's our favorite shampoo bottles, the Titan Hero stuff. Ah, uh, the poo figures. Yes, Edward's we Nick Green and the poo figures. I mean, this one's better. At least it's actually proportionate. It just, I know this with a lot uh, with the new Far From Home stuff, is they didn't, for some reason, like, paint the, the web detail. Which I don't like because it looks it looks so naked. Yeah, it looks weird. And the best part is the goddamn vehicles they made for Titan Heroes. Ah, uh, no, no more Spider-Man in motorcycle, but now Spider-Man in <laughs> like a helicopter turbine with I don't How know what this is. How do you control it? Do they even put him in right? I'm not sure. It looks like Peter just laying down while you just laying in the ship. And this is what happens when he's when he, when he's lay, when he, when he, when he's when he's late at night and he lays down sleep. Maybe. My question is, what is this like grappling hook for? You know, knowing these movies, like who's gonna be the t who's gonna be holding this grappling hook? Another Spider-Man? Like not Spider like Spider-Man. Spider-Man appears. Check to Drew. No, please. I want to stay away. Please. Okay. Looks like this. Nier was like just good through mostly because Mulika she can be kind of a jerk a lot. Uh -huh, and plus she just in yeah. Next is more roleplay stuff and what the hell is this? What the is this? <laughs> I'm not sure if these webs are supposed to be like rubber or plastic, but I don't even know how I kid. I guess you could go pull. It's supposed to be, supposed to be Spider Man's like three ways webs webs but webs webs thing. I guess, but like, I guess that kid, wait, okay, so the kid, the order the watch, you need to pull this, like, pull that gray lever in the back, back, but where do you, where's the button to actually fire it? Is it somewhere here? It's it like, um, momentum base? I like don't that? know. Um, next is, whatever this is. This is like a slingshot? Like, 
It looks like the web Rubbish is... slingshot toys again? I... It's like a weird crossbow web. The <laughs> nerf kid back there. He's so happy. But so it's like, I guess like, I guess it's like a targeting radical. I, wait, is that supposed to be the button to launch the web? I, I, maybe? Or is this like a dick, disc launcher? Like, is the disc going near? I can't tell. Next one is, I don't even know what this was to be. Uh, how would you describe this? Again, for the company they made, Nerf, and and from what you've seen, that, and when we get the Power Rangers, it's pretty good. Their roleplay stuff for Marvel is not that great because what? It's almost like they, they, they don't have any idea. They don't have no source material to work off. Um, the ne anyways, next is. <laughs> what are these? Like. like I think okay, so Spiderman, like Spiderman toilets, always have like the, the web left shooters, and they always have a silly string. But why is it? Why do they mutate Spider-Man to to be like a, a gun? Where is I it? guess they took his mask, cut cut, cut into pieces, and made it into this. I don't know. Also got a also the Nerf kid. <laughs> the nerve came back there. No, I love that they still have to put the or the orange tip in front of this. Even <laughs> though, <laughs> even though no police officer would look at this thing as a real gun. <laughs> My God, like seriously, wait, when the looks of it says it's fireman on, it's fireman with a weird orange nose. That's his nose. <laughs> yeah. But next is oh. also it's the same caster they've been using since. I want to say... That, no, that's the evergreen Spider-Man artwork right there. Okay. Next is... Okay, now I get to evergreen. Now, this one's pure evergreen. And look at this. What is this? I don't know. Okay, so weird enough... The hat, there's a machine about this. Like, I find... Weirdly enough, they're using like a, the evergreen Spider-Man logo, but it's like sort of different. But instead of using the evergreen Spider-Man artwork... For like that's sort of base of Marvel Spider-Man. This the the picture and the figure looks like to be kind of based of Parker Industries Peter suit. Kinda. But it has the blue highlights. It has the blue highlights in both the eyes and the spider symbol, especially. But it's not like the like naturally. Pretty. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like this is like say, well, one. Um, it looks like it was made for for for, for preschool. Even even though this is not play school. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised there's like a Marvel preschool line. No, there is. They like they, no, they do make preschool. Like, there is play school Marvel hero stuff. Th those really bad and the like, shorts they make is based off Marvel the Marvel superhero adventures line for play school. But why does this list look so play schooly for not being under play school? Yeah, also, like also, well, also, I am disappointed there is no scoop of Spider Man during this toy fair. Oh, 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 just wait to oh, wait, just wait to our next movie break. Um, next is um, more more tie in hero stuff. So, we have a, a one of these many gimmick Spider Man that's not even based on Marvel Spider Man, just evergreen Spider Man design. Also, it took let's see, when did the show came out 2017? Mm -hmm. And we're finding a Titan Hero Spire Gwen figure. Yeah, it took a while. It took a while. Like we got Anya first in Spire, then Gwen, which we really know about. That's reversed in the show. Where it was Gwen first, then Anya. I wonder if that's something kind of seems where Anya was supposed to show up before um Gwen. Season two. It, maybe. Yeah, and then we got this. Find the worst. Titan here I've seen is the Miles Morales one because it's not like at least the Spider-Man at least has the stuff molded the web detail molding all of the Miles figure is just a basic black body with Miles' like patterns printed on it which is even worse I think they bare minimum again it doesn't help it doesn't even, it doesn't even match what Miles reports is supposed to be he looks like a grown man instead of a. Oh my uh, god! I just realized that the spy, the, spy, the, the weird spy cycle. Look at the artwork. He's actually right. The Marvel cycle, and the artwork. 
You didn't notice? I didn't notice that well because the, the previous photo, he was yeah he's obscuring, he's obscuring it. <laughs> All right, what's well, so next should be after the tiny hero stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, the more the far from home gimmick figures, and now we have the these web whipping. So I guess it's like web whipping. Smart self to Spidey, which this is a reuse gimmick from one of the Evergreen Spider-Man lines that came out 2010, where you can position if you position the webs right, it looks really rude. You, if you if, if you if, if you look around if you look around at at, at inappropriate person here, if it goes, you'll find it. Yes, but it's still. So we have that. Uh, you can like, move the arm that much to get to that point. Look like the elbows, just don't move that much. Next is Mega Punch Spider Man. <laughs> what is it? Did you just get it before? I. No, no, this one I think is silly new. But my no, mom... I look at Oh, see Spider Man. See Spider Man toy line. I think they use it for that thing. Which line? I think they use it for one of the first toy lines, I think. For the, six... movie, the movies? I think. I think it's for the movies. It is amazing, Spider-Man. But like, I've never seen this in some other Spider-Man toy line. That's an older one too. <laughs> but like, what does it even work? Like, we'll web up, punch. Depends what kind of fixes they're using. They could either a be what they usually are, just be web, or could be City Spider-Man where they can make a baseball. But still, like, I like you can see the photo for Toy Story. They put it on the stand. When this comes out, how many beds when when this game out package is falling down because all the weight is in the the, the web fits? Who knows? Maybe, maybe they were smart enough and I made it light. This is the gimmick Hasbro figures. Will you're right. They don't care. Next should be Glider Spider Man. <laughs> what do? Why does Hasbro keep making these? Why? I don't know. Like, well, like, yo. During the homecoming toy line, they really emphasized uh, like the web wings. Here to just drop in. Now we have Glider Spider Man. Because web because web wings are. I don't know. Next is the self suit figure, which is all right, but like you can tell when we get the Power Rangers five inch figures. They put all the budget in those ones, or else the PR Power Rangers fan will go cry like man babies again. Because you look at the Spider Man figures, no no legs can go in and out, and no knees allowed. Yeah, also, so as a private about this toy line, there's no Nick Fury lot. There's no Nick Fury, no, 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 Fury toy. Because I don't think, you know, people were like Nick Fury. I don't think kids want Nick Fury toy. Also, because I just, also, because I don't, I also, hope I don't think Hasbro the movie. Has the, Budget to make a Samuel Jackson face sculpt in a five inch spine. again. Yeah, but it's still like so self suit. <laughs> what? What do we call this one? Deep. Oh, this one have knees. Wait, I'm going. Wait, go back first. Like go back. Wait, the other figures will have knees. No, other figures will have knees. Is this supposed to be the big seller one? Is this like the big gimmick figure? Why does he have knees? Oh. But so next we have the basic Spider-Man, I guess, and he comes with the traditional web shield. <laughs> Do like, would those even work? I uh, no. okay, they work at first, but the more you use them, the more worn out they get. Yeah, so going back to this figure, so yeah, why is he allowed to have knees, but everybody else, no. Not even the ma actual main Spider-Man figure doesn't have knees. Oh no. So why does he have a web hook? Um... Um... To hang down from ledge? I guess. Oh, now for this gimmick figure. So, this, as the figure is alright, but the gimmick is... You can interchange the chest and head piece. So can you have traditional blue Spidey? Spidey with the black highlights on the side. Or or the stealth suit. But the problem is, it's only the torso and head that changes. The limbs will still stay the same. So it looks kind of awful. <laughs> <laughs> so did Hasbro not think about that? Like, oh! I think Hasbro just like gimmick. 
<laughs> but it's like, we'll make a figure. We can we'll make a figure. Right. Make a change. I remember most of, I remember most of these, like, the kids like, are them trying to like, like, experimenting. I guess, but like, they did not think like, oh, we're go let's let's make a figure where we can have a Spider-Man figure that changes between all its costumes in the movie. Um, sir, we don't have the we only have the budget to make a T-shirt and a head. Cud. <laughs> like, damn it, we, we don't have the Good budget. Enough. <laughs> yeah, budget. But it's still, uh, and I think that's all for the Spider-Man stuff, if hmm? I'm not mistaken. Hey, let me, I think that's all. Yeah, that's all the Mar the Spider-Man stuff this year. Wow, this is. Wait, I just realized no Mysterio figure. Yep. It, yeah. Oh no, maybe though that's one later on. Oh no, but still, like this so far, this Spider-Man like. This spider like this one thing I know is what Hasbro is. They're kind of like kid, like uh, not like kid, like I guess mainline stuff has not been the greatest for action figures. <laughs> Which is why they really step up for the Power Rangers, or else the fandom will go wild like Ray Babies, like always. <laughs> anyway, so that so next now let's get to the actual interesting news, I guess. Which is the Marvel Legends stuff, which that's a lot. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff too. Um, so because look, we we have more of the move the the cinematic universe cinematic universe line, and so which, which looks good, but I'm more interested in comic stuff. But yeah, but they also have their Marvel's now turning eighty this year, which uh -huh. geez, Jesus Christ. But so they're like so Hasbro's celebrating it by making a sort of eighties line, like um. Like everybody's in there, like your 80s are just very classic designs. So like, so what's going? The what's going order the pictures I have here in my folder. So the first one should be the move, the movie stuff, movie cap from from Captain America movie one, which um the figure actually looks really good. Yep. Um, it's all new pieces, which again, knowing you had was shocking. Um, they're using that their fancy face scanning technology. Which, man, I'm pretty sure Mattel really wishes they have. I don't think cares. But yeah, the way I look about that is the, the weathering on the shield, actually. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Let's see, it's a two-pack with a Peggy Carter figure, which is probably the only Peggy Carter figure we're getting. I don't think, I, don't, I doubt we're getting, like, a One comic. that fits the show. No, no, I'm going to talk about, like, a comic. Peggy Carter figure at all. Make, make it one of Sharon? Maybe. Well, we know we got Sharon Carter. Oh, oh okay. Legend. By Mary shelf form. Yeah. Because, the, because, because parents say no. It's, well, that is not that good of a figure. Um, let's see, next. Now, this, now, the next one is the one of the ones I really want to get. Is, um, yeah, just a basic Captain America figure. Um, don't, which, I don't know what arrows. I, uh, it, it's based on an era I was, I'm really looking at. I think it's based on the two, the early 2000s. I would say 2000, because the, the scale, the, the, the chain mail armor on the top. Mm -hmm. That's definitely, I think, 2000 kind of, but like, finally, fi it's really not, it's really good I really want to pick up, because your previously basic Captain America figures, Hazard May, where we are okay, okay, or just don't like the design. Uh, here, it's it's the cap I grew up on. I think it's just a perfect, like, evergreen, well, not evergreen, but, like, generation cap, like, timeless cap design. Yeah, so, I, 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 I still see this cap on shirts. I still do. It's not like Marvel Now cap, where it's, like, the we it's, like, sort of based off the movie, sort of. It's not like War Wood 2 cap. It's, like, a basic Captain America, like, yeah, yeah I, honestly, I think this design cap will probably, probably has, so well, as we've seen, this cap has to the test of time. Yeah, this is like the cap that, you know, most people, like, when people see this, people just think Captain America right away. And that's a, kind of a theme with these new 80 years figures they've been doing. Next is a two-pack with Colossus and Juggernaut. Um... Now the Juggernaut is a release of the of the Juggernaut build a figure they have, but with a new head sculpt. And actually, what they didn't show in the press photo, he comes with a bow damage he helmet. Actually, yeah, it's yeah, it's like that, so it's a reissue of the Juggernaut with I think new paint, a new head, and an extra head where the helmet's actually damaged, which actually looks really nice. <laughs> he also comes. With, I just I just realized with this photo, he also comes with open hands. 
the builder bigger only has the fist of hands. Hmm. So that's actually really nice. So, so nice up. So that's a nice update. Yeah, and we're getting um Jim Lee. Uh, is it Jim? Like, well, at least the nine Jim Lee ninety nice classes. Yeah, Jim Lee's because I think in the year two thousand, Jim Lee made us made redesigns of all of them. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, but this is like the one you see like in the nineties cartoon or like. That it's the one a lot of people grew up it's on. It's iconic. It's iconic oh, one that's in that's, that's a culture osmosis. Yeah, culture osmosis. Like saying with that, a lot of figures they have remained recently. They shot toy for that's kind of like that. But like, yeah, this they already they did release like a Colossus during the Warlock wave, which I think is based on a bit more as modern design, like out these kind of shorter pads and knee guards. But so I if this, I won't be surprised many ninety X Men fans will pick this pack up for just Colossus. Next is more movie studio movie. I want to say movie studio, but it's just cinematic universe. Next we have movie ghosts and Lewis. Surprisingly, um, the ghost figure looks really nice. And again, it, and thankfully the ghost movie design is not that too different from the comics. At least the I don't think surprised how much they didn't change. Yeah, so if they don't make a comic uh, ghost, I won't be surprised people will pick this up. The Lewis figure, I'm surprised they didn't make, but he's a pop, he's a popular character for Ant Man, and mm. that. But I think I mean he's not a comic to that stage or anything. Yeah, but I think most people are going to more excited for this figure because I think, if I could be wrong, but I think this is a brand new business suit body. I think? I think, or maybe one of the Tony Starks. One of the Tony Stark figures that I would use this. But pe most people are going to probably use this for as, as like, neither, because, you know, people are probably sick of the, the, the business suit mold that Hasbro has been using since Chameleon. Um, <laughs> no, oh, all you people are sick of turning bills. This way, speak to Mattel. Yeah, next is, is the Grandmaster and Korg two pack from Door Rock and Roll, and that is a perfect Jeff Goldblum face. Yeah, that, yes, yes, perfect. And I don't, I have, don't remember they, if Hasbro or Toy Biz released a previous Grandmaster figure before. Must because I don't think people are demanding a Grandmaster figure. Here's the, the thing, Grand, Grandmaster is just one of those characters who just, who just like watches things about it, and I think instigator and things. He's not really that much an active player in certain stuff. See, so yeah, this is probably the closest, so I won't be surprised if people will pick up this two pack just to have a Grandmaster, just a Grandmaster in general in their collection. Yeah. And people pick up Korg because Korg. Um, now we get to, no wait, one more movie pack, which is a, I want to say release Hella with a, I think a new head. I'm not sure, I don't remember if the Hella figure from the Dora Ragnarok wave came with a normal head, or was it the, the, her crown thing. And we got, uh, I don't think there is a Marvel Legends Scourge at all, at least the comic version. So I won't be. I could be wrong, but this needs to first just scourge in general for Marvel Legends. So I won't people. My surprise people will pick this out just for Scourge himself. Just have a version of him. Now, wait, so more movie stuff. We have a Iron and Sp Iron Spider Two back from Infinity War. A.K. Hasbro apologizing for not including the things they should have. Like okay, like Iron Man. I don't think he needs like. These special this though he does have a really nice paint job, but for Iron, but most people who got by for Iron Spider because the main reason why people didn't like that Iron Spider figure that came out for the Daniel's play for Infinity War, and then came with the legs. So they realized this is like Hadro saying, "We're sorry." We're sorry. We're still waiting for the Penny Parker apology figure after that. <laughs> after this into the Spider Verse line. All right, so oh yeah, I think that's all movie stuff for now. No, and there's, there's some more, but still. And I think that's it for the two. No, wait, one more two pack. But the next figure is up. Uh, is, um, classic, very classic Iron Man. Right, like, classic, classic Iron Man. Like, um. Like, 80s, I think. No, I think 60s, because this. When I see these, I, I just think of the 60s cartoon yeah. intro. No, 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 he, no, no, he's not like. No, he's not Tin Man. <laughs> yeah, his face is not more. But still, like, um. I may pick up this figure. It's not my perfect evergreen like generation Iron Man. That for me, that's the extremist Iron Man. But like, this is a real good figure to have. 
Um, next one I'm definitely getting is the classic door figure. Because this is, to me, this is door. Like, they, this is, like, a really good door figure. Like, they even, they even had to even bother to, like, actually sculpt the, the, Mjol the Mjolnir's, like, little meshes that most copies skip out on. Mm. Yeah, it's still, like, it's a very classic door, like, and it's, like, the door I grew up on, so it's nice to have a pure classic door. But how, I just realized, how do I actually mold the le the boots? Most companies just had these as paint, but no, like, had to remember these are these are actually straps on his boots, not just like patterns, which I find interesting. Um, next is a Hulk, the Hulk and Wolverine two pack, um, and first appearance Wolverine also. Um, this is not a pack I'm gonna get because we haven't got a. Really good classic Hulk at year at years because the last most time, we, most time we quote unquote get 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 a quote, quote unquote comic Hulk it's, it it reads the parts because most of the time the previous ones just have a comic Hulk head on a movie Hulk body which clashed really hard. Mm -hmm. Here it's a this looks like a pure one hundred percent new mold and this is again. A classic Hulk design. This is like the Hulk you see and merchandise and some of that and media. Like the, the old, the classic haircut, the classic purple pants. Yeah, yeah so yes, yeah, so, this is the two getting. The Wolverine's nice, but I question why the Matt, they didn't wipe his eyes out. Like, was he, during his first appearance, was he always, did, did Wolverine Mass have pure white eyes? And some panels, he, you can see them. It's weird, like, I wonder if they might clue two heads. One with white eyes and one with this head on. It's still a really good figure. It's like the cost, it's the, you know, first appearance of Wolverine. But like, mm -hmm. you know, this... I, I, don't, I, I don't know the people who will pick up, will pick up this two pack, not only for the Hulk, but also for this Wolverine. Well, because it's... You know, first appearance I Wolverine. think the last time we got first appearance of Wolverine was, was Toy Biz. It's Toy Biz, and that was like a while, a long time and ago. That figures Ever since then, we only got like statues and stuff. Yeah, so like this two really good two pack. Next is uh, another movie pack of Infinity War Loki and Corvus Glaive. Is this how to pronounce it? Yeah, or Orvis Glaive, aka Scoop. Honestly, Scoo like oh, no, 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 the wrong person. The paint job on especially him looks really damn good mm. like the black wash and stuff yeah, I think so you know like the red skull figure came with the infinity cube mm -hmm. I think that's just like a really remolded of the Thor Ragnarok Loki with some new parts let's do uh, another movie two pack now we get to the comic figures so um who is Rock Python mm -hmm. who is Rock Python Oh god, I'm trying to remember who he is. But he looks like the filler figure of this of whatever wave he's being part of. I'm trying to think, who is he? I, I think I, he, I think he's just a move that Captain America fought because, because there was just a point where Captain America fought nothing but snake people. Like, is he from the Serpent Society? I think he's part of that group, or at least because part of the story. Snake, like, okay, you already get how big the Serpent Society was at, well, at some point. They they had a they had a major part in Atlanta's attack event. I just can't wait for the comic all the comic fans to tell us who Rock Pi gave like a twelve bio paragraph. I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> yeah, so he's obviously the filler figure because he's just reusing one. He just reuse he is a simple use of I think the the Venom body, the Venom body with a new bell and new head. Next mm -hmm. is um, Emma Frost. What costume of Emma Frost is this? It's based on oh, Rare's costume. Oh, I remember his costume. Oh, but when I, but when I remember the costume, I just get memories of frustration and rage. Is it from a bad event then? I think it is. I don't remember. All I remember about that event was, 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 was colossal. Well, I should know swearing. Oops. Oops. I, I, I had to bleep the hell out. Oops, uh, being a jerk. Uh, but I don't, I don't remember. God, but still, like, I, I, like, I, just get, 
That's a bad memory. Cousins. I don't know why. Also, I don't have Cosmo from Ephrost. Well, I, 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 that's right. I, yeah, same. Because Everfrost is she, I, to me, it should be always in the white costume. Where she's wearing something else is weird. But the face sculpt was really good. Oh, oh, oh no, face sculpt's great. <laughs> yeah, I see this face sculpt. And I think back to Hasbro's first Everfrost figure. And my, I see it's like, man, Hasbro got so much better making female action figures. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn to someone. Yeah, but still, like, it's one of those, like, it's a really good figure, but I'm not a fan of the costume. Next is the infamous Iron Man, which this was an easy repaint, because they all need to is take the previous Iron Man they had from the Black Panther wave, Paint it all silver, give it a Doctor Doom cloak. But I do like the design. Uh, oh, even though even though the, even though Comic From is it has, has it is mixed, and I I'm still pretty mixed on, on what it is. I like the design. I like the idea of it. Yeah, it, it was a Doctor Doom in Iron Man. Doctor 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 Doom in his own Iron Man suit. Yeah, it just looks really good. I really like the effects parts he come in, like that like that purple energy glow. Like really it, nice. Yeah, we have uh, also we have two different types: the um beam for the beam for armor and Doctor Doom's normal electricity powers. Yeah, which I really like. Um, also, when, also when will, when will we get a movie that remembers he's a magician? <laughs> Who knows? Um, next is the Magneto Quicksilver and Star Witch Street Pack, um, which honestly looks really good. Um, the Magneto figure, which I think is a yeah, I can't Jubilee. Wave, or is that new Magneto figure just repainted to be in classic colors? Uh, but still, like the figure looks really good, and especially the both head sculpts look really good. Kind of wish he comes with a onset, but still, it's nice to have a very classic Magneto. Yeah, very. Yeah, it's very classic. Have all the die ex chicken, <laughs> all you want. Uh, next is a new Quicksilver. I uh, classic Quicksilver, which this is actually a really good figure. Also, I think this is a. Uh, I don't think I think it might. Not sure. It's based off. Hold on, I'm gonna. I have the sp pizza Spider-Man mold right here. Um, it is it, no, it's not the pizza Spider-Man body mold. But I forget where this body mold is from. I think Wolverine. But I'm not sure. But this is a really good body mold for this kind. This version of Quicksilver. And it's one of you. Yeah, there's a. It is very classic. I get very classic. And even though all the all the detailing is pan on, at least they pass for bar to shit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It is painted on. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> well, yeah, but unlike a certain other company, they actually borrowed for shading in the on the suit. It's a flat color. And next <laughs> is a. Next is a brand new Scar Witch, which this is like, the, I think the standout of this box set, because... Oh, it's been a long, oh, this figure's been a long time coming. Well, there was a Scar Witch, I think, in what, I think the Odin Sun wave, but this, this, the, I think the head sculpt really sold this, like, it's really, like, this thing... This is based on one of my favorite designs of Scar Witch, like, made, that makes the under, like, so like, 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 like red, it does make a like, skin. Yeah, yeah, because the previous, uh, this thing's like, the, the previous Scar Witch had released was, that's this was skin. Nearest the, you know, it's the body suit, which I like. But so, I think, it's, it's that face sculpt that really sold this figure. And makes, like, kind of one by the same joke, it's a really good face sculpt. Um, next, um, um the deep, the sideline from the figures is the, the Marvel Legends Ant-Man helmet. Which actually looks really good. Um, they get ha most of these Hasbro helmets from what I've seen are really, really good. Mm -hmm. They're really movie screen accurate. Though I know there's some of the packaging that they change. There's also I changed the Avengers logo to be blue instead of the traditional red. It's been. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been noticing that subtly throughout. Like, I say a lot of other pack. Uh, uh, I say uh, they have. Uh, the other kind of stuff thing again, like this was this time he first started with them, and I changed his old logos to blue. <laughs> Don't mention that. That's the curse logo. Um, but still, like um, yeah, this one because this ha this box has it. The the leak Endgame figures have it. Well, I think it's Endgame, but it looks too evergreen to be Endgame. But I noticed the Lego sets use this. 
So this is like, I did slowly change the logo to be blue. Would that mean Avengers Assemble how to change their logo now? <laughs> Next time we see Avengers Tower, the, 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 ace, the ace completely blue. Maybe. Next is uh, one, the, the only uh, Ultimate Rider figure that was announced, which is World War II Cap. And this figure looks really good. Though I think he just reused the shield from the War, the World War II movie cap. But so, hey. like, um, if you really like World War II Cap, it's a really good figure. I'm not too big on the design. And it, 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 it's pretty much based off, like, okay, it's pretty much like. Like, a Captain America's first proto costume yeah, in the comics much. style. Yeah, but still. Um, next one is a two pack, um, another movie two pack of Homecoming Spider Man and, or at least how the box says, is Marvel's MJ. Oh, ah, uh, Marvel. Ah, uh, the many times where, where a company has to put Marvel, or like, or I'd like say, how about your bubbles? Uh, uh, I'll buy this character. I'll buy Jazz. Yes, because technically do not own the layers, MJ. Yeah, yeah, but it's still like this. This suit pack is interesting. The MJ figure looks pretty decent. It looks accurate to her actress. The Spider-Man, I'm mixed because I'm not too big on the Homecoming Marvel Legends sculpt. It doesn't look. My problem is this is the way he had the color. Well, here's the thing: it's based off that 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 one scene where he wore his jacket. Yeah, but no, not no. The jacket's fine. The base figure is the same base figure with new paint job from the previous Marvel Legend Homecoming Spider-Man. I don't know what Hasbro did, but the way how they paint the webs look weird. They don't look like the movie. It's like too pronounced is my problem. But so this, this, this two pack is fine. Now we get to the Spider-Man way. I want to point out that they announced these new Mar Marvel Legends waves. But they don't show what the build the figure is. I'm not sure they're saying the build figure for later, but we don't for the Spider-Man way. We don't know who the build the figure is. But for the, the first of the Spider-Man of it is Doppelganger, which I'm surprised we're even getting a figure at all. Doppelganger, out. Uh, hey, Doppelganger is I say the one of as I think Spider-Man is the only one of the Doppelgangers I expect to get a figure of. Well, it helps. It helps that he was in Maximum Carnage, which is a popular story. Yeah, and out of all the doppelgangers, he's the one with most different design. Well, but seriously, doppelganger three re Richards. It's just three issues. It's just three issues, but with an evil glare. No, uh, I was hoping for you go evil goatee. Question: <laughs> is, is doppelganger Tony Stark? Like Tony Stark with Al goatee? I think. I think. I, no, I didn't think. I remember seeing without his helmet. Diamond. But so this Meanwhile, Wolverine is just this abomination of colors. Ugh. But so then again, this doppelganger figure. Like, we we get, I mentioned that. <laughs> then again, this doppelganger figure makes sense. Why so has to remain now? Because they're just using the six arm Spidey mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's heavily like Ryan Klein around, so it's easy. Even then, that six arm. They make, they make legs. Even then, the six arm Spidey mold is reusing parts from the Amazing Spider Man 2 figure. And I can tell this is easy because those all those arms are from the main Spider-Man 2 figure and same with the legs So really the only new part of Doppelganger is the feet in the head on the hands But yeah, but so but so it's the ultimate kit batch figure, but that's what Doppelganger is Yeah, he, he, he's a Doppelganger. He was, he was made he was made to quote-unquote be, be an evil copy of Spooderman I see people who complain about this mold that there's no like waist and I have a crunch, but like I'm fine with it. It's, well, it's look, just look, they had to put the budget in all the arms to be all posable. That's yeah, like I, something... I have posable arms over, not over. I say I want to shit down Doppelganger as if he was at dinner. Yeah, but still, like I yeah, besides, I, but I'm looking at the figure. There's no room to have an ab crunch built in because where the pants. This is probably very loose. Yeah. Oh, so all the Lord Dragon figures. Uh, <laughs> but so, oh, uh, man, I watched you do that. <laughs> but so, like, overall, this figure's... Yeah, this figure's really good. Next is Hydro... Next figure is Hydro Man. Which, which, I'm surprised it took this long to get a Hydro Man. Hydro Man's like a D-list, like a C-list villain. It's, yeah, I think C-list, because he's... I think C-list, because... 
If you save high ground, Jesus. guys, they keep on mentioning like other like other stuff. But still, like um, this figure. Well, I can see now, like civilian. I can see people could take his body as a civilian body because it's easy. And the water um, arms and feet look great. That's actually a good sculpting. My only problem with this figure is the face. But the problem is that is Hydro Man's face, so I can't complain. Yeah, that is Hydro Man, aka Jerk. Yeah, he had, he had the, the very monkey boy face, what I always call it. <laughs> <laughs> he had like he had a big, he had a giant butt face, as I, as I can say. Like, it's not like the new cat woman, the cat, black cat figure that just released for the Kingpin way, which I don't like that face called because it kind of looks kind of ugly. And the fa and if you get a really bad figure, her eyes look derpy. Here, this is what Hydra Man looks like. This is what he looks like. We can't even. Can't even say this is an actor. No, that's just how he is. Yeah, yeah Andy, you look up Hydra Man from here. And you look at the personality all comics. So that's just him. Yeah. So yeah, like, especially like. There's a, reason, there's a reason why he he's on the butt monkey villain. Yeah, like you look at like the '90s series or or '90s art. That is his face. Um, yeah, so now yeah. it shows up in the comics. He's usually a butt monkey. So next figure is finally a new Marvel Legends Scorpion. Looks really, really good, but I'm hoping he comes the with only problem alternate... is they chose one of his worst masks. Yeah, I'm hoping he comes with alternate heads. Like the like they did that for Electro. So I'm hoping this one does. Where it's like it has the lenses in the eyes. Okay, here's the thing. There's two problems with this mask. One, the eyes. Two, the teeth. Yeah, because this is a whole new body, because, you know, it's, it's not like a, most male figures where it's an ab crunch. No, this is a diaphragm joint, because they had to do that because of the tail. So all, the, I think all this is a brand brand new, brand new, brand new sculpt, which, you know, that Yuji, Yuji did, I, which Yuji did the they don't, but here's the thing, they do introduce sculpts, but slowly. Yeah, well, I noticed every time they introduce a new sculpt, it's always an Spider-Man wave. Because of Spider-Man. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's like Batman. Uh, we'll get to we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay, for people who don't know, Mattel Mattel's treatment of the DC license is garbage. We're gonna make that maybe a separate video, maybe. No, no, trust me. There's so much to talk about how how much Mattel treats treat 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 like like D, treat DC terribly. Yeah, but so the Scorpion figure looks really good. Um, I think yeah, I'm just hoping he has an ultra head. Next figure is, well, it's a Far From Home figure, and it's the Far From Home Spidey, and I don't like this figure. It's, <sighs> it's the red they use, and the fact that the, the web details are not, you know, colored. It looks very cheap, is my problem here. They get it, they get it, they get it, they get it. I just feel like this is just... It's, yeah, the suit's not that great. Like, I'm not... Yeah, honestly, honestly you ask me... I mean, I think it's probably one of the weakest Spider-Man suits in movies, honestly. I'm, yeah, I'm not too into the MCU spot. I like the MCU, like, Peter, you know, character. I, 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 I like the character. But, but I don't like I, the, the suit. But my complaints are, the suit's not that good, and give him his own movie. Stop putting in other heroes in. Yeah, that's another problem. Uh, well, like, has, you uh, don't need Nick Fury to be in that movie. Uh... Let's have him like... so just be something he, he made in a hotel room or something. Don't just have him be there still be just to just give gives Peter a new uh, suit. It's not like Spider-Man can work, cannot work on his own. We have Again, it's the Spider-Verse show. I remember in the 90s and 2000s, one of the things that Marvel was pushing the most with Spider-Man is that he is a loner, which is ridiculous because he had a book called Spider-Man Team-Up. But so, like, I just this figure, I just don't like, again, the bread is so out of my right. eyes. And again, they don't like how they have the the web details are not painted, which I don't like because like that could be just easy black wash, but no, it's just weird. We went from the previous MCU Spidey figure with a too much web dealing detailing to two dicks to no web de detailing. Yeah, it just I hope this is the. It's gonna be the final scene in the movie. Next is totally not Spider-Man Noir. I mean, stealth suit. Um, I remember when we first saw the suit, you just went, Oh, Spider-Man! Never mind. <laughs> I only complain is why... The fingers gloves. Is this is a stealth suit. A why stealth does he have fingers gloves? Why? Why does it make sense? Like, uh, why? Should that be, like, why is it all black? Why? It be, this is why? Stealth... This one, 
Fun. MC Peter will all be smarter than that. Hey, yeah, Peter is smarter than that. And by the way, he has promised to wait for the apology figure for no Spider No War and in into the Spider Verse toy line. You hey, already have a Spider Man New War toy pretty good. I know, but I don't try that still. Um, next is, uh, Spire- Which version of Spire Woman is this? I forget- It's not Jessica Drew at all. I'm trying to remember- Wait, give me a second. Two the- Yeah, two the- Oh, give me a second! Who is this? Two the Googles! I think that's Jane Carper- Carpenter. Okay, so, yeah, I don't remember- I remember her. I did actually like her. And- Here's the thing! Like, shh! Here's the thing! She- She has gone through, like, two other identities. What? One of them is her acne, and she's the- And she was the second Madam Web. Yeah, and, and this figure looks great. And unlike Jessica Drew, she at least has some involvement in Spider-Man. Not so much. I mean, here's the thing. She was in Secret Wars. She, hers, her, hers was was the prototype of 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 um Symbio Spider-Man. Yeah, well you can tell. And plus, I like how the figure, the, how Hasbro did the hair on this figure. Yeah, they made her. Yeah, yeah, and I see her modern hair color mm -hmm. from blonde. Yeah, it looks really good. I think it's still the same basic female body, which I probably there's probably the same body Silk have. But so, but anyways, next should be now we'll get to the new X Men stuff. Next is Boom Boom, which I uh, I don't like. <laughs> I have all these signs that I use. Why this one? God, so good. Oh, wait, what are other what are what are Boom Boom's other designs? No, I mean, also, I grew a up, terrible well, name. I mean, the only one, the one I grew up was X Men Evolution, where she didn't have an outfit at all. From what I remember? Guy design, there we go. Uh, it's just, she has the goddamn Birkin kids glove. Hey, at least she doesn't have her shoulder, her, her shoulder pads. But she has the, the Birkin kids club, you know, glasses. <laughs> but the next figure is... Spider-Man Ball! Because. <laughs> because... Hey, I like the cat... Uh, they, they, I, I like Hasbro's effort having the effect part here. Like, Cannibal's a care I barely know, so I can't say that much anything about this figure. <laughs> Neither do I. All I, all I know is he's in the, all I know is he's mutant. Next, well, that's all I, next is G Guardian. Okay, yes. Mr. Okay, Mr. Canada Man. In Canada! One thing I know is Hazard really, really want to put this emphasis figure. He has the mightiest of all frowns on this figure. <laughs> because he's keeping his Guardian. Next is our uh, my the final staff. Also, he's also the kiss of death for team books. Yeah. Now for the staff figure for this wave is the Mister Sinister figure. Let's oh just... God, so good. Yeah, this looks. This is so good. I think most of the stuff is brand new. Though I well, I think we might share some parts for with Scorpion, at least the arms maybe. But so the cape, the face sculpt, the paint job. It's his final. It might be prototype. Who knows? Looks great. Like I don't. I think there was a Mrs. Sinister before. I think your Toy Biz or old Hasbro. But this looks so good. So next is classic '90s Nightcrawler, which is another one and it's really good. I like how it comes with the sword. <laughs> I think it's also a brand new body. I. It, 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 it is. It is. D -d 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 Here's the thing, this body is Nightcrawler. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I was looking, I thought it was like the teenage body that was introduced with Miles and Ultimate Peter, but now it's uh, fully brand new. Like, I'm looking at it, it's all brand new. Because, because um, Nightcrawler portions, they're not teenager, they're just very... Lanky. Uh, they're very lanky, very skinny. Like so, he's, what he's, character he's, skin? Exactly, exactly. He's, like, he's a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Gym, gymnast, gymnast, gymnast. So like, what are, like characters they can use his body for then? Uh, who? Maybe, maybe, sp maybe for another Spider-Man. Maybe like a really skinny Spider-Man. Maybe I've seen that Spider-Man many times. But still, like, yeah, this is like again another like classic Nightcrawler design, which is another great one. Let's see, next is what's this '90s Dazzler? Oh, it's time. Oh. It's yeah, it's 90s. I'm surprised we're even getting another Dazzler so soon because we just got that like, classic disco Dazzler last year. Me Dazzler? Last... Yeah, I think like last year or two years ago. What's it I like? I decided Dazzler because it's not Dazzler. It's boring. It's boring. Dazzler is 80s. 
That's what she is. She's A's and Carnage. She's almost got her own movie, you God's sakes. Uh huh. It's it's just really goddamn boring. This is how much for the A's at the time. Next is the Silver Samurai, which looks great. I'm hoping this silver paint job actually stays on the final version, but this looks really good. Yeah, like that's that. Ah, oh, Silver Samurai. Your character that is really cool, well, really cool design, but I barely know anything about you. Next is. What version of Wolverine is this? Uh, it's loading. Let me, let me see. Ah, uh, this, this is basically the design he, he had when, when, he, when, he, when he was at, um, when he was at, at Japan, aka, aka, um, where he straight up looks like a werewolf. I did like the, I did like the suit. I just don't, I never like that, I, that the, the lion mate. <laughs> the lion mate. Is that mutton chops? Is that mutton it's, chops? It's lion. Yeah, it's, it's alive. I never liked this Wolverine. But then again, this is one of the better face sculpts I see of this Wolverine. Check some of the toy biz Wolverine sculpts with his hair. It's kind of oof. Oof. Does he look like does he look like a werewolf? Maybe like they, sometimes he looks like he has mutin chops. It's the next one is that the ones that don't have um press images right, they're only the toy fair. So first is who is this? Oh, I recognize you! I think you're a Spider-Man character. Is he like a mook or something like that? I is he, think is he I, D-grade? I think, a, I think he's a first assassin. That could be is frog. He, is he D-grade? Huh? Is he D-grade? I think he mostly fights Captain Britain and Spider-Man. Okay. Next is, finally, a brand new Betray Bill, finally. After how long? Uh, I think since 2005. I'm not mistaken. But still, this looks great, though. I'm hoping this is the prototype because you can see this, you can see the ball joint outside his mouth right there. Oh. <laughs> I'm hoping they change that because that looks unless that's like a move. How was my charge? <laughs> like I'm hoping they didn't stick that because that'd be kind of creepy. Uh, next is finally, after honestly, it feels like a decade, a brand new comic Loki. Like, and it's classic comic Loki also. Oh, I've waited so long. Yeah, like, apparently, like, uh, like, apparently people, people were wondering if either, either everyone's going to touch um, comic Loki for again. Yeah, because, like, you know, people love MCU Loki so much, but, like, it's it like, it'll be nice to have a new comic Loki. I, We've been ye the closest we got was the lady Loki in one of those six packs. Yeah, yeah, and when that where's then that six pack lot was probably hidden mist terms of how the pictures were. Yeah, but it's still like um so, so it honestly looks really nice. So that's like it captures Loki's gr like mischievousness grid. And we'll make it hobo Loki. No will. We will never have Lopu Loki. I hope we don't get Lopu Loki. <laughs> but come on, right? It's Hobo Loki. <laughs> I read they are made Iron Skull, so who knows? Okay, make sure the picture of the people know where right, I'm talking yeah, about. I play, yeah, but yeah, I play, man. <laughs> so people can experience the, the magic that is Hobo Loki. <laughs> oh, symbol. Next, Hobo Buff Loki. Next is uh, who's this? I think that's another. I think it's a version of Air Patriots. Is it? Uh, he looks like an image it's comic. He looks like an image comic character to me. He, he, I remember, that's Baron Zemo. Is it Baron Zemo? You gotta remember, this was during, um, the Star Wars project, I believe? Oh, okay, that, that makes sense then. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, the name of it. Uh, uh, I'll find out later, but yeah, he, I believe this was Baron Zemo when he was part of the, um, Thunderbolts project. Okay, that makes sense then. So it's it's a. Which, but uh, which, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. But would be surprised they make a movie about about Thunderbolts at some point. As next is it's Squidward. Ah, oh, hey, Ebony Ma. Man, after rereading how you were in the comics, they really changed you in the movie. You were just a like mook. really changed you. You were just pretty much a mook. Yeah, and I like the comic where he could honestly. Make he could he, he he could manipulate Doctor Strange to just give him the stone. Again, I want people will probably pick up all like these black order MCU black order because I I'll wait I wait till the comic version comes. Oh, here's the problem. I doubt we're getting comic versions of them because well, the black well, well, they're newer people. 
one of the, one of the newer characters. Second, like, I'm not sure a lot of people are interested in the Black Order. Who knows? Yeah, maybe... that's, his, that's his name. Who knows? Maybe um, after Ultimate Alliance 3 comes out. Oh, here's, the thing. here's the thing. They're probably going to make one of the ending mob because he is the most popular character of that. Maybe like, of, of the... her, him and Prosky Midnight are the two, like, big ones. Oh, they're, oh those, those are the most popular of this team, team in the comics, so I won't be surprised if they make designs of those two. Anyway, so next is... Finally, a brand new Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. Um, this Hercules looks great. Like that face sculpt captures Marvel Hercules so well. Aka, aka goofball. Yeah, like, yeah, this looks really, really good. So yeah, this, uh, I think Toy Biz made a Hercules before, but this looks so much better because it captured this. So who's this? I don't know. <laughs> like we're not trying. I honestly don't know. He doesn't. I don't recognize this character in any way. Just let you guys know, we know both of us know a lot about comics and Marvel, but even we both don't know who this guy is. Here's the thing: I'm probably who he is, but I'm not so sure because I've never seen him with that color scheme. When we when I get to editing this video and we when we find out who this guy is, I'll put the meme in the video. But right now, we just don't know who this guy is in terms of right now, while well, recording. There we go. Our last figure is, oh, Nighthawk? Is, what's his name again? Night, Nighthawk? Nighthawk. Yeah, Nighthawk, which I think this is his first figure, I think? Which Wait, figure? Uh, he, yeah, which is because of his design. Like, he's not like a... D gray hero, but he, I at least I remember him surprisingly as a kid. Most of the superhero squad feature him quite a lot, surprisingly. Yeah, I guess he would just. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you're right. They, they really did feature him a lot. Yeah. Huh. God, I can't, but the thing is, I think he was, was I think he was the loser. <laughs> well, look at but, him. But so like overall, that so that's like all Marvel stuff, and again, like I really we got a really like oops, we we skip one figure. Wait, what do we skip? Cyclops. Oh. Whoops. One. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about him at all. My goddamn photo app. I think we just went like app went for Nestler and skipping Cyclops by accident. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, um, okay. I don't remember who Night Nighthawk was in your comic. This is how much the loser Batman clone he is. Yeah, I'm looking at. So the figure we forgot was poor old Cyclops. Uh, which is, Cyclops. This is based off what his '80s design, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, this is. Oh no, it's been the same event that 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 my father's from. Hey, so hey, so so what's it brings uh, back bad memories. So what's so what's Cyclops design is based off on? Is this '80s? Uh, it, it's really piss. Because the Cyclops, his life is misery. <laughs> Look at that. he is like. Cyclops has witnessed Jean die how many times? 1068. I think he's over. I, okay, we joke about Jean Grey to die, but she like died like three times, and not how much like he witnessed his. Oh, he witnessed how his own son could become the world's greatest villain. He witnessed. This, I see this pig. I can, can easily use it for toilet humor. This is like taking the biggest dump ever. Um, but so this is um that's all the Marvel stuff for um Hasbro, and honestly, we got oh very good. Yeah, it is good. We have, like, the only ones I don't like for Marvel Legends is the Spider-Man movie stuff. And besides, that's only two figures. Then again, the Builder figure could have been something from the movie. But still, like, um, overall, yeah. yeah the Spirio. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, no, it's Spirio, unless they're saving it for another wave. Well, yeah, well, again, we'll be surprised if he's a Builder figure. But that would be stupid. I don't think there was a Mantis Builder figure, so, hmm. Well, and one of the faces looks like, looks like, looks like Gavin Free. Don't tell me that actor does not look like Gavin. <laughs> From Rooster Teeth? Yeah. Yeah, but so like, um, see, so yeah, that's all Marvel stuff. Again, it's all interesting stuff. So, so, anyways, when I go to, anyways, when I go to the Transformers stuff next? Let's go, Transformers, go!